the global environment is changing so much, right? You have uh, quite some growth expectations now in the US. Um, you have investors which really can uh, choose between uh, a, a place like Russia and a place like a, more, like a more mature market, a developed market like the US. So the competitive landscape for Russia is changing. A U.S. investor, because that has to be wh where this uh, communication is coming from. The biggest thing that we look for is, is transparency, transparency in the numbers and the financials, and then the consistent rule of contract law. So, if um, we are looking to invest in Russia, and what we would like to see is you know, consistency and transparency. There's an additional reason for the shakeout in emerging markets, which is the way in which people are beginning to have a little rethink about whether growth slowing down in emerging countries is not just a China problem, but actually it's in Russia, it's in Brazil, it's in Turkey, it's in Mexico. A lot of the favorite emerging markets that investors have had are actually confronting structural economic problems, which is calling for a change in their economic model. And that's not going to be very easy to bring about because it's all about political reform. If you look at the people taking to the streets in Sao Paulo and other Brazilian cities and in Istanbul and Ankara, um, it's kind of indicative of the fact that the, you know, the, the, the BRICS middle class is basically beginning to feel very unsure and restless. think about infrastructure, it's, it's really just one of the areas that I think countries, cities, what have you, can really differentiate themselves vis-a-vis -vis, uh, others in, in the global marketplace. Um, and, uh, and so we think that's very important. Uh, in today's world, um, and you think about global capital markets, and you think about what choices investors have, they're going to be looking at the competitiveness of a country and of a city, and infrastructure is one of the most important areas that, uh, that investors will be looking at, ease of doing business, et cetera. One of the things that Russia does have as its core is actually oil and gas. It is a major part of what Russia has, and it is the biggest producer of oil and gas. What it has not done is taken the industries around oil and gas, equipment, services, and so on, and actually created a Russian component. It is importing most of those services. Mm -hmm.